you guys doing? Hope you have an awesome day. Arrowverse here. Hit the like and subscribe button. Push the bell for notifications. I'll leave a comment down below what you think about this video. This is a recap and a breakdown video. So first off, we see Joe and Cecile talk about a recorder. It's an eerie recorder about Kramer's past. But Allegra and Chester are trying to find Esperanza, basically ultraviolet her cousin. She ends up finding them first, and there's a fight that brings out, but Sue interferes, and Esperanza actually leaves, basically. Other than that, Allegra uh, really wants to find her cousin because she thinks she could talk her down. She knows that there's good inside her, so Sue goes along with that idea, goes along with her plan, and yes. So Esperanza is actually looking for the doctor who turned her into ultraviolet, did experiments on her. So Allegra is about to release her cousin out of the jail cell, but Sue thinks it's a bad idea. Allegra wants her to basically teach her how to use her powers. Meanwhile, Joe gives the folder and recorder to Kramer. Kramer is not thrilled. She says to Joe, get the hell out of my office or I'll have you arrested. That is very rude of her. Meanwhile, Esperanza is teaching Allegra how to control her powers, but Sue does not like this idea. So they end up getting a little fight and Esperanza ends up leaving Team Flash. She thinks it's a waste of her time and so she disappears. Meanwhile, Joe's talking to Cecile and someone texts Joe. Yes, surprisingly, it's Kramer. She wants to meet up. Hopefully, she's not going to be rude to him or get him arrested. Other than that, Chester actually found a way how to find Esperanza, her cousin, basically. Reason why is because their powers are basically connected together. Well, I mean connected, it's like yin and yang, yang, just like Chester said himself, basically. So, she's at a warehouse right now and there's like electricity everywhere going on. So... Esperanza eventually finds the doctor and the doctor makes a deal with her. Meanwhile, Sue is actually preoccupying and putting the beat down on all the guards and tells uh, Allegra, yeah, you need to go and talk to your cousin. The deal was from the doctor, he said to Ultraviolet, kill your family, which means your sister, and I'll be able to give you back what you lost, which was your voice. So they had an intense fight and their fight was overwhelming well for Esperanza basically she was defeated really badly because apparently Allegra is actually more powerful than her cousin she is like Captain Marvel from the MCU this is Captain Marvel I believe Captain Marvel is the most powerful Avenger yeah, she is actually, arguably, she's the powerful Avenger, basically. Anyways, back to this. So, Esperanza and Allegra are about to talk, and basically, Allegra says that, well, Caitlin can actually help you out and cure you and fix you. And Esperanza is all for it. And I guess, supposedly, you never know, she might be part of Team Flash eventually. So Joe and Kramer actually meet up. Kramer explains to Joe that I knew about the ambush. I knew about the meta because my brother tried to warn me and I've been trying to search for my brother for six years. It was all my fault. I didn't know about the ambush, but basically I didn't listen to my brother and I'm trying to find my brother. If you could help me out, that would be great. And Joe says, sure. So Kramer, her past was basically her fault. It was on accident, though. She trusts the wrong person. Other than that, Sue decides to stick around. Then Frost finds out that Joe Bain, he didn't escape jail. He's actually, uh, I guess, a free meta, basically, just like Frost. He made a deal. All right. Well, we're about to talk about Season 7, Episode 15. Finally, the main protagonist, the main evil villain is back. No, it's not Reverse Flash. 
It's Godspeed. Godspeed is a main evil villain in the Flash at the moment. You guys ready? It's time for the breakdown. Okay, let's dive right into it. So this first thing we see Godspeed, I believe this is like at a power plant actually. So right now, uh, Barry and Cecile are actually inside his office. Well, his lab actually, I should say. And Chester's on the comms and telling Barry, yeah, we have a big problem. And I believe probably somewhere outside the SCPDD, uh, the CCPD, um, I guess uh, Godspeed shows up out of nowhere, probably with the sonic boom. But in Star Labs, they see the lights flicker on and off, which is really creepy. But it is a sign of Godspeed trying to suck out some energy out of Star Labs, basically. So he is back. I don't know where he has been. He's probably been hiding in the future, planning his plot of how to destroy the Flash. But he's still in some electricity out of the power plant. I'm pretty sure this is a power plant right here. He wants a lot of energy. And apparently, Chilbane and Frost are actually inside Star Labs right now, hiding out. And Chester is inside the hidden room. I guess he's panicking and hide himself. Godspeed, I suppose he's actually invading Star Labs inside Star Labs. So Caitlin and Chilbane are basically the only ones there that could actually, I guess they're both going to take him on. And Chester, I don't know what Chester is doing right now, if he's hiding or not. But as we see in this picture, the glass is being broken inside Barry's laboratory. This is a question, like, why is Barry being attacked? Does Godspeed know Barry's true identity of he's a Flash? Is that what's happening? Is that why he was outside uh, Barry's window? He and Cecile were looking out the window. Meanwhile, something terrible happens. I'm not sure if it was to Chester or Cecile, but let's just say that Barry's having a really hard time trying to defeat godspeed and i do have a theory of what's going on and what's happening so yes uh barry is having woo big trouble with godspeed surprisingly i guess other than that hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video